Blaster here and welcome back to another episode of What Did I Just Watch? The show where I talk about movies, TV series, and etc. that made my job job and wonder. What did I just watch? This episode is going to be a little different. Because it's not necessarily disturbing unless the thought of a film series that you love so much is part of something that was also part of your childhood but should be nowhere whatsoever connected to this. It's not obscure or horrifying or out of the country even. In fact, this takes place in New York. In case you couldn't tell by the title of this video, we are talking about in the and I can't believe I'm saying this, the Sesame Street Cinematic Universe. Yep, that's a thing. Apparently, and apparently it's way bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh, this is an actual thing. So let's dive in to this very bizarre and actually humongous cinematic universe. So let's start off with the basics. Because if you... Or well aware of the Muppet Show, then you're well aware that the Muppet Show and the Sesame Street pretty much are connected. Cause Kermit appeared before the Muppet Show on Sam and Friends and Sesame Street, <clears throat> and then they made the Muppet Show to make Kermit seem a bit nicer, more reasonably nice. So. Uh, Anyways, that also immediately connects two things to Sesame Street, Muppet Show, and Sam and Friends. And also, if you don't believe that, also, Sesame Street went on to the Muppet Show on different occasions. One it was an episode of Connie Stevens, one where they spent the holidays with them, and heck, in Muppets Take Manhattan, Bert and Ernie... They appear during the wedding scene. So, like a Sunday on a Monday, this is officially connected. And that concludes the episode today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you. Oh, wait! There's more! Because usually you'll just sing about the main thing that you see the two shows cross over with and think that's done. No big deal. But here's the thing. It's not that simple. Because now that they're officially connected, that means any other show that's related or crossed over with on The Muppet Show means they also coexist with Sesame Street. So that means every... Muppet related thing from the Muppet Show is connected. So Muppet Haunted Mansion, um, the Muppets mockumentary series, all the Muppet movies. Well, it excluding Muppets Wizard of Oz or Muppets Christmas Carol or Treasure Island because those are basically retellings of stories. So you can take those ones with a grain of salt. But every other film. They exist with Sesame Street. And also this means that Fraggle Rock exists with freaking Sesame Street. Cause in one ep in one uh um uh, Muppet Show special called Muppets Family Christmas, they uh, crossed over with the Fraggles. So that means they exist anyways. That also means another show exists with Sesame Street called Muppets Tonight. Which, uh, for those who don't know, was a... I'm not sure if you'll say spin-off, but 
it was a chance to try to reboot the Muppet Show, but with a different host. But that did not go so well. So anyways, that means everything that's part of the Muppet Show, including the Jim Henson Hour, <clears throat> that all is part of Sesame Street. So, are you ready for some more stuff being ruined? I mean, could be worse. Could be Barney crossing over. That would be a pain in the neck. <clears throat> Anyways, so look. Sesame Street's also part of Between the Lines because they have crossed over <clears throat> like maybe one or twice once or twice because uh if you watch between the lines you know the song uh, dance with the smarty pants and in some variations you would see elmo or bert dance to the song but if you want like full-on proof in the actual plot of the show that they've been in there there's an episode where big bird bert and ernie all went to the the lions library so, officially, they're canonically connected. <clears throat> and you thought I was done? <laughs> no, because get ready! <sighs> Tell me, what's the one thing in the world would you not want ruined? Or even more ruined? Avengers? Star Wars? Yep, Star Wars. That's the correct answer, because Avengers, they are not coming back. <laughs> no, no. So, you picking up where I'm going with this? <laughs> Star Wars is officially part of the Sesame Street and Muppet Show universe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a good one, script. <laughs> Wait. What? Yep, that's right. Sesame Street freaking crossovered with freaking Star Wars. That means every single Star Wars film or series, including the prequels, the original trilogy, the J.J. Abrams series, Mandalorian, Ahsoka, Clone Wars, over Clone Wars, Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, all are connected with f***ing Sesame Street. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I, I, I can't. Okay, I'm back after banging my head into a wall for five hours straight. You thought I was done, didn't you? <laughs> no. Because we have to talk about some other people they crossed over with. I'll give you a hint on who I'm also going to ruin your childhood for. I'll give you a hint. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. And he wants to be your neighbor. Yeah, you, you see where I'm going with this? <sighs> yep, yeah, you heard me right. Speaking with the mouths of babes, Mr. Rogers, it'll freaking coexist with Sesame Street. And this also means that Dino Tiger's Neighborhood, an animated series, also coexists with freaking Sesame Street. Yeah. Goodbye, childhood. Well, hey, at least we got all of our adult shows. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding. Because they crossed over with freaking Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right. The freaking Simpsons aren't safe from freaking Sesame Street. You don't believe me, there's a clip on YouTube where you can see the rare footage of the Muppets with freaking Simpsons. Grover bought a portrait and they started singing this weird song and then it turns out they're alive inside the portrait. They live in the same universe as Sesame Street. Oh my gosh. And 
million people can live inside Sesame Street. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Please don't tell me the Batman animated series. Oh, and look at that. The Batman animated series actually coexists with freaking Sesame Street. Yeah, it's... And I'm not talking about just the show... But actual Batman exists with freaking Sesame Street. Because mm. in one episode, Bert and Ernie can't take turns with the freaking TV. And then Batman comes in and what does he do? Teaches them how to take turns. <clears throat> and not only that, they also had an episode where Batman and Robin went to Sesame Street. While freaking teaching characters how to carefully walk across the street while capturing the freaking Joker. Heck, in a test demo of freaking Sesame Street, Superman showed up. Why? 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 This is my life. Anyways, fun fact. Did you know... Elmo the Red Monster is actually British! Yeah, he is! Thanks to the wonderful CBB's uh, kid series, The Furchester Hotel. Which, his whole plot is that Elmo and Cooking Monster go work at Elmo's aunt, Vanilla. Vanilla. Why, of all the names you could have chose, that's weird. Why did you choose Vanilla? Anyways, they go there to work. Huh. Child labor must have not been a thing then. Anyways. So this also means we get the big reveal of what Elmo's last name is. Elmo Furchester. Not Elmo Monster, as he says. Nope, it's Elmo Furchester. Well, depending on which side the family came from. So, you saw it was done. No, because, get a look at this. Pink Pampers, canonically converted to be part of the Sesame Street universe. <clears throat> Pee Wee Herman is considered to be part of the Sesame Street Cinematic Universe. I mean... That kind of makes sense, but that doesn't matter. No. No. Hey, Arnold's also part of the Sesame Street universe. The Wicked Witch of the West was in a banned episode of Sesame Street canonically confirming the Wicked Witch coexists with Sesame Street. Oh, and you're going to love this fact, kids. <sighs> Wayne's World is officially connected to Sesame Street's Cinematic Universe. I mean, how many of these are there? You're freaking lying to me. No, it can't be that big. <laughs>